live from Matthews Arena in Boston. Tonight on Nesson, it's the UMass Lowell Riverhawks and the Northeastern Huskies. Cole gets checked. Still got the puck ahead to Fowler. Fowler trying to create. Dorrington put his stick on the puck. Score! And that luck was tipped in front, giving the Riverhawks a one to nothing lead. Owen oh, Cole, I think Adam tipped that puck in, and it's one nothing UMass Lowell. Well, we saw a really nice tip from Realm earlier in the first period, and then we were talking about UMass Lowell and their commitment to get pucks towards the blue. And nice play there to get that puck to cross. And again, you see it right to the net. And it's Owen Cole. He's just standing there taking a beating from the big D-man on Northeastern, Hunter McDonald, but finds a way to get a stick on that puck and tip it by Levi. Not sure Levi had Freshman fair. defenseman Hunter McDonald out of Freeport, New York. Now for Gacy to McDonald. Shot. Loose in front. Demelis scores! And Northeastern is tied it. And you talk a lot about the hallmarks of UMass Lowell and going to the cage Northeastern. Not so different on their end. They like to establish a cycle game in each corner, go low to high, and then get get pucks and bodies to the crease. Uh, few as apt as Matt DeMellis in finding that bouncing puck. And Hunter McDonald had a great chance early in the sequence, fanned on it, makes a nice move to get that puck down to the cage. And you see DeMellis gets lost a little bit there in traffic, falls off to the weak side of the net, puck bounces right to him, and he buries him. Um, still looking to see that first line for Northeastern get going this weekend. They've been awfully quiet. And Northeastern only had one goal. We talked about Matt Chupani with the goal scorer, but no points otherwise for the Huskies other than the Mellis. Score! And, and the Huskies have taken the lead as Liam Walsh makes it 2-1. to one. And we'll keep talking about this fourth line as much as they keep putting up points. And Liam Walsh took some time to get adjusted to well, being a Husky, being on Northeastern's campus, but he's certainly fitting right in uh, with Chupani and Jack Williams. And look at that, you got three Huskies right around the crease. We talked about UMass Lowell going to the cage, and, and Vinny Borghese, a freshman defenseman, finds you know, Williams and Chupani over on the weak side, and gets that puck to Walsh. He's been trying to settle the puck, and he just missed stick side. That came close. Now Dorrington to McDonald. One time, Griggles the save, score yeah, on the win. rebound, and that's being waved off at the moment. Yeah, it looked to me, Rob, immediately. I'm not surprised. Uh, we are saw the same, the official, making the call for no goal. Looked like a pretty distinct kicking motion from Novak. Uh, but they will take a look at it and discuss. But what a fantastic shift for the Huskies. Great puck retrieval. Take a look at this replay. You see that puck going D to D down to Ritzkovian and one timer and you know, the back angle shows pretty well from where we are. And the puck does certainly go off of Novak's skate. Let's see if we can really look at it here in a second. Now Fontaine, Jack Hughes, and Colangelo to Fontaine as Northeastern uses the perimeter to keep the puck being passed around. In front tip, score, yes, a goal for Ritzkovian. And it is four to one, a power play goal for the Huskies. Yeah, beautiful pass there by Jack Hughes. And you'll see on the replay, I'm sure, but Hughes gets this puck on his tape and looks like he's going back up north uh, to the point with it. No look to Ritzkovi, and of course they've worked on this play. You see it there, it's Fontaine over McDonough. McDonough snapped it down on the tape. You see there, no look right on the tape for Ritzkovi. And Griggles did everything he could. Uh, but Ritzkovi and hard on the puck. Sherry's in the 25 seconds remaining on the UMass Lowell power play. Their first of the night. Shot, score! Yeah, Mitchell Becker, the freshman. And it is four to two. And there may be a penalty as well here against Northeastern. Yeah, it's gonna be a hook on Hughes, but nice goal there by Becker. He's able to find himself in all alone, essentially about 15 feet. Right in the slot there on Levi. Here's a look. First goal for nice Becker. Nice pass. Good move by career. Becker. And you mentioned first career goal. Looks like a natural goal scorer there. Uh, Dipsy Doodle Dangle puts one low blocker on Devin Levi. It's a Job pretty good goal. Young replacements. Nice mixture of youth and veterans on that team. And DeMellis cutting in. Welsh and score! 
Welsh made the first save. The puck comes loose, and it is a 5-2 hockey game. And Matt DeMellis is having quite a night on senior night. Yeah, good goal there from DeMellis. We're used to seeing him take the puck to the net. He controls the puck in the corner in tight areas as good as anybody else. And there he is just going, pounding the puck, uh, cracking away. And I think Stella might have thought that Welsh had this puck covered. It was an odd one there. You had plenty of UMass little Riverhawks around the puck. But the only person that saw it loose was DeMellis. Of uh, UMass Lowell. Nordland is a sophomore from Sweden. And the Huskies have a 6-2 lead on a quick goal beginning the third period as the new goaltender, Nordland, hadn't seen a shot yet. Aiden McDonough is a 20-goal scorer in back-to-back -back seasons for Northeastern. A big milestone for Aiden McDonough. Not surprised to see him get there, but it's a good forecheck by Gunnarwolf Fontaine. Just a turnover to Ritzkobin. He's in the right spot. He knows exactly where he's going with this puck. Right to McDonough, who's Johnny net front. Northland, no chance there on the back door. Passes the puck behind the net. Chupani hits it out. Bouncing puck. It's Mella, the senior. Score! He did it. Alex Mella. That's his first goal as a Northeastern Husky in his last game at home in the regular season. We have to mention that because there will be more games to play. How about uh, that? Too That's cool, a Rob. story there. Uh, too cool. You're wondering, you know, uh, Mella doesn't get a regular shift. He's a fourth line guy who uh, works hard in practice. He does all the right things. He talked about his studies, what he is as a student. And, Man, he gets that puck on his stick, and you got to wonder, what's he going to do? He just rings one post in like a natural goal scorer. And I love to see that. He gets an opportunity on senior Twice night. On the end of game interview, that's the guy you wanted to talk with, is the senior who scored his first collegiate goal on senior night on the last home regular season game. And it's a win for Northeastern. We want to thank our crew. Great job tonight bringing you the broadcast on Nesson. Our producer, Pearl Strand. Our director, Connor McLaughlin. Michael Henshaw on replay. Francis Story on graphics. For Ben Weiss, Paige Capistrand, and Adam Reed, this is Rob Rudnick. Huskies 7, Riverhawks 3. Good night from Matthews Arena.